Is he the greatest player ever, Danny? Yes. Because he played both ends of the court. He Offensively, there could be some debate, although I think he was one of the best offensive players, but because of everything he did, yes, and his competitive edge. Magic. No, he's the greatest player, and Bill Russell is the greatest winner. Uh, Michael, no, no question, Michael is heads and shoulders above everybody else. He not only dominated on offense and defense, but he also dominated. There will no, never be a basketball player, and I don't know if there will ever be another athlete to make as much money on the court and off the court as Michael Jordan. It's just it, he, he, he will go down like Muhammad Ali and maybe even bigger. Well, I think the, the point he touched on, Michael was they were always trying to say who's the next Michael Jordan, and they only look at offense. Michael Jordan was the best defensive player who played during our era, and that's what separated him. And I have to agree again, uh, the domination everywhere. There's no, no players today, like my, like Charles just said, that can dominate a game without scoring 30. There's been games where Michael didn't score 30, but dominate the game from defense, assist, because at one year he was all, he played the point guard position. People forget that as well. So the assist as well and the defensive end, total package. By the way, Charles, you're, you're going to be all right here with the voice? No, no, no. Yeah. No, 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 no. You have to yell and scream the whole time. Ernie. It must have been the rookie game. He was yes, yelling yes. and screaming have, at that. Have Charles whisper in Kenny's ear and every answer he has. <laughs> <laughs> and then, Kenny, you can relate to everybody. Relate world. <laughs> we, we hear so much about the great will to win that, that Michael had. In the ratio of will and skill, um, I mean, how did that work out for him? Well, it's, well, a, well, it's a combination of both. Yeah, not, you, you have to have both. You know, the will to win, drop what drive, what drove him, and then the skill level is what made him. See, he would he would have been only Michael Jordan with just the will to win, but he was Michael Air Jordan with the skill to win. <laughs> well, the other thing to add to that is I agree with Magic, but not only that, but his will drove other players' will. You know, Scotty became had a stronger will. Horace Grant, B.J. Armstrong, all these guys, his will was contagious. And that's what I think makes him even more special, what he did on the court, what he made other players become. And people forget, he was the best fundamental player in basketball. And that's what everyone sees, the dunks, and they see the highlights. But he was the first, to me, the first athlete to come into the game with fundamental skills as his basis. And then his athleticism just took him to where he yeah. is today. Where did you learn those that fundamentals? North at North Carolina, Carolina in college. What to you? Uh, hey, I got fundamentals, but I didn't have athleticism or will. Is that something that Charles <laughs> whispered to you, or do you have something to add on that front? Well, no matter how much will you got, if you don't have talent, it doesn't matter. <laughs>